my geekdom. This is Shamal doing another reaction. Today we're gonna to be checking out a trailer. I am so happy that it is the spooky season, so because so many different trailers and stuff for different horror things are popping up, and I am enjoying it. This is another one. This is the monkey. <laughs> uh, yes, yeah, uh, dry from Stephen King's uh, books. So yeah, I wanted to check this out. There was a, a teaser. And the teaser didn't tell you much at all, so we get to probably get this trailer to see what's happening, how they're taking this, are they um, where they're gonna go with the, the story. So yeah, let's check this out. Uh, a lot of people are adapting Stephen King's books like crazy. I think there was uh, what was the other one? Uh, so hopefully this will be be pretty fun. For the longest time. There was nothing. Hmm. But then it appeared. A beast not from this earth. Smiting the ones who deserved it. The ones who didn't. Oh. And everyone in between. Whoever controls it. Controls life and death. And those deaths are really fucked up. Holy sh Everybody dies. And that's life. It's a goddamn mess in there. Have you been up there? It's like that restaurant. Spaghetti City. Mm -mm. Oh my gosh! <laughs> Whole head mm -hmm. was just on fire. Mm -mm. Yeah, everything's fine. Come on, baby, let's have some fun. All right, so yeah, that was the monkey. Um, there's a lot of interesting visuals in this. Uh, a lot of people. Uh, put onto this as well. Um, we seen James Wong producing this. Um, so yeah, it's, this is definitely going to be interesting. Um, yeah, stories from Stephen King, whether it's short stories or full uh, novels, always going to be interesting for people to try to um, create a movie or something into. Uh, he comes up with some of the you know, craziest stuff, but very entertaining. Uh, there's some books that I have read that I was like, I wish there was the ad adaptations of this, um, because you know it, it seems like it would be pretty interesting to to see. Or you know, there's been like even animes that I have, uh, well, mangas. There's been uh, mangas and stuff that I have read that I was like, this hasn't been turned into an anime yet. Uh, I wonder how it would be if it was an anime. Sometimes they ruin it. <laughs> but it just depends. How, you know, depends on who is working on it all the time. Sometimes you get out some people that don't really care about the project and are just there for the money. They're not caring about the story or they weren't into the story beforehand. But it's always good to get people who are really into the, the source material. To really do an adaptation the best way possible. I always believe that should always be the case. Because if you're not really into it. You never heard it. Or you're just coming up and just coming up with the story off of this. Um, intellectual property or something like that. Then it's not going to work out too well. It's, you know, But I like people who are fans of the work. Who work on uh, an adaptation. So yeah. <laughs> But we'll, we'll definitely see how this goes. Uh, I definitely look forward to it. Should be pretty fun. Let me know what y'all think about this in the comments below. If you like this video, please put a like on the video. If you like to subscribe, see some more of my videos, please do. Thank you all so much for jumping on and giving me a try. I really do appreciate it. Please do take care of yourselves and others. Peace, geek, though.